Hello friends, I'm Pastor Marta Wheeler here uh, for you, telling you about a moment of joy. I'm here in my son's garden. Matthew and Natalie have spent hours tilling the soil, planting the seeds, and the plants have been nourished by the wonderful rains that we have had at late in the sunshine. I am here, I've been asked to pick the produce while they are off on their vacation. And I have been blessed with the bounty of lovely broccoli and tomatoes and green beans, snap peas, cucumbers, peppers, and lovely dill. We cannot enjoy all of this bounty, so we will be sharing it with others. What we have been gifted with, we will share. So I encourage you to, to experience a moment of joy as you share whatever bounty God has given you with others so that others will be blessed. They will be filled with God's love as you share. I thank you for each one of you, for the bounty that you share, and for the love that God has given you that flows through you. May your week be blessed and may you experience a moment of joy. The sights and sounds of justice. One day I look around and circles begin to appear to me in the world of nature. Massive tree trunks and their inner rings. The cotton tails of neighborhood rabbits. A robin's nest built atop our spotlight. A bright blue indigo bunting's tiny black eyeballs. I look up to see perfect circles in a break in the clouds and in the rippling out as raindrops gently fall on the pond. Round blossoms of allium hydrangeas Crespidia and marigolds are counted among many blooms in the shapes of orbs under the grand spheres of universal earth, sun, stars, and moon. Then I listen and hear the sounds of nature reverberate in the circular motion. Bees buzzing from flower to log bullfrogs croaking from the bog, leaves rustling when it's windy, cicadas buzzing from the old oak tree, owls hoo-hooing and doves cuckooing, cardinals nightly treetop call, the brook's healing waterfall. Thunder rolling across the atmosphere, the sounds of justice mysteriously radiating across the plains. Look and listen with all your senses. How do you perceive the offering of God's perpetually recreated love and grace?